Hi everybody, I'm Mike G. Johnny Blaze. And Nathan Knights. And this is another episode of Funny, Funny Bros, Bros Inc. Inc. And we're doing another ep What are you doing? Hi. You are being a dork. We're doing another review episode, guys. Regarding Mike movies. G. Yeah, for movies. And Mike G is now up. Sure I'm, way, I'm, try I'm trying to, but this guy keeps... Making Screw. weird noises? No, I'm, not, I'm not making weird noises. I'm but first, I, I just want to see if this camera is recording. That's why I looked at you I like hope I so. did. And it is. Yeah, well, just double checking, fans. Anyway, our previous episode, which we're not going to say, but if you know it, you would watch it. I'm going a little bit kid style. And yes, I am 21 years old, so don't criticize me. But here recently, I've gotten back watched. Hold up. I have to say, nobody should criticize you because the other day I was watching one of my childhood, childhood favorites, Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, I'm back on subject. <laughs> back on subject. Here recently, I've watched all five Alpha and Omega films. If you don't know what that is, we'll. Yes, there. I'll explain to you later. There's actually five Alpha and Omega films. Okay. Explain that to me later then. <laughs> But actually, I'll explain since we're on that subject now. Uh, anyway, my movie is Alpha and Omega. Here the last week, I really liked the first film. Even though there were four other direct DVD sequels, Alpha and Omega 2, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there's a sixth one that just came out with Dino Diggs. And there's a seventh one coming out called The Big Furries. Um, the first one was really good. I loved it. The story of uh, Humphrey and Kate. Falling in love, different wolf backgrounds with different him. wolf grades. Mm. Yes, and how they defied the rules and they followed their own hearts and their adventures. And following the first Alpha and Omega film, they had their pups and they had their own little misadventures. <laughs> it was awesome. It was the first film was both action, a lot of action-packed parts with the wolves romantic because we had a lot of romance between a couple of the wolves and everything. Sad because sometimes there were issues with the characters and the act and the acting and everything. And then it was at, the ending was awesome. They all got to get Alf, um, Humphrey and Kate got together and uh, Kate's sister Lily got with Garth. Out two Alpha and Omegas falling in love and getting married when they defied the rules. I loved it because it's one of my favorites and I love stories like that and love scenes. I, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but uh, I'm going to stop rambling and let these two go at it what they thought. I have no idea. Nothing about Alpha You've Omega. not seen Alpha and Omega, really? have you? Alpha and Omega came out in 2010. Dude, it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, I, I recommend it. I didn't see it till like 2012. Same but here. When I got to see it, I was like, this is one hell of a funny movie. Mm -hmm. I thought it was adorable. I thought it was adorable too. I, I mean, it. again, I'm with you on all the love that developed and defined the rules and mm -hmm. the laws of nature. But, you know, it's. It's still adorable, and it was meant for kids. Mm -hmm. It really was. But, you know, it touched hearts and minds of adults, too. And every time they do the howl scenes, it gives me chills, especially the ending, when everything was all happy with, and hunky With boring. Humphrey and Kate, that was the most adorable howl scene. Uh -huh. And Vincent's Johnny Blaze don't know shit about it. <laughs> he can't say really anything about it. But we can recommend him if he ever has a chance to... I, I'm going to strap him to a chair one of these days, tape his eyes open, and he's going to watch it. <laughs> Trust me! You're watching it! You won't do jack. And then you, you, the guy the, and you also got the directed DVD sequels, too. Two, three, four, five, and six. Once he sees Alpha and Omega 1, he's going to be all for the others. Maybe. I, have, I, was. I was. I've seen all of them. Including the Dino Digs one that most recently came out. Oh, sounds most interesting. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it because yeah. many of the fans have not seen any, probably any of the Alpha Omega films. So anyway, another short review. But we're still doing good. That was my pick. Anyway, I'm Mike G. Johnny Blaze. Nathan Knights. 
And this has been another episode of Funny Bros, Inc. Thank you.